I'm Carson Block of Muddy Waters Capital. We are short peptide drug discovery platform Peptidream because we believe its earnings power is greatly misunderstood and exaggerated. The company touts its 19 drug discovery partnerships and more than 100 programs, but we believe that a significant number of these partnerships and programs are dormant to dead and that the company has not been forthcoming about this fact. We engage two independent research firms, one of which is Japanese and the other specializes in global pharmaceuticals. Their findings confirm our thesis that a substantial number of these partnerships are dormant to dead. Based on long established industry probabilities of success, we forecast that Peptidream will only have one drug commercialized by 2027, while investors and analysts are expecting eight to 15. We believe that that number is grossly exaggerated and is way too optimistic. Chairman Kubota likens Peptidream to a sports car. We think the better analogy is a sports car that lacks wheels. We think that's evidenced by insiders selling over 31 billion yen of stock in recent years. At the end of the day, we believe Peptidream will leave investors sorely disappointed. We believe that the company's recent shift to in-house drug discovery is nothing more than a distraction from the problems in the partnerships. And that because the company has no competence in in-house drug discovery, these efforts will also prove largely futile. To believe that Peptidream will commercialize at least eight drugs by 2027, you'd have to believe that Peptidream's success rate will be six times that of the industry. We don't think that's realistic at all. Peptide drug discovery platforms are one of many technologies of drug discovery platforms. And while Peptidream's technology certainly has the coolness factor, we don't think it has the usefulness factor. And that's evidenced by, in its 13-year history, Peptidream not having gotten a single drug into phase two clinical trials. So investors might wonder why Chairman Kubota has gone to almost every single prefecture in Japan touting the stock. Patrick Reed's house in Hawaii cost 1.9 billion yen. We think that explains why. For our detailed report, visit our website, www.muddywatersresearch.com, where there's a Japanese language version of the report. Thank you.